Your disappointment, the failure! You spent years trying to fight this war, and for what? Corruption still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you. Rachel Ghoul, you allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlotrix will not save Gotham from his reckoning. Not now!
will be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. are here setting fires. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. That's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. This place does need work. 
Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. trained you well. Didn't he tell you to stay out of Gotham? Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. I'm not tempted to roll the dice and toss him into a Lazarus pit. Wouldn't exactly be new territory for you. Wait! Why did he attack Bruce? Ninjas. Notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts to volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but it'll do for now. You and Master Bruce are the only two people in the entire world who would consider the Belfry systems ancient. While researching Langstrom, I also called up all we've got on... Our party crasher. Talia Al Ghul. She was a match for Master Bruce in more ways than one. Her presence in Gotham is concerning. So is the fact that she torched her old man's body. We sure that was Ra's al Ghul? His DNA was all over the weapon she left behind. I wonder why she didn't take a chance and use a Lazarus pit to revive him. Well... Batman would just find Talia and ask her himself. Good thinking. Yeah, I can double check Talia's kunai for trace materials that we can track. We should also hit the streets, find out if anyone had any beef with Langstrom. Sweet. Time to bust some skulls.
Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, expecting Bruce to call me for help. And then I remember. I thought it might have been one of you calling just now. I was worried. Old habits, I suppose. You and Bruce probably did that every night when I thought I was out on my own. Didn't you? I can't be like him, Alfred. But I can't go back to how I used to be. Bruce showed me a path, and I'm sticking with it. And I'll be here to support you. Gotham is in good hands. Talia! You know you're not welcome in Gotham. Pack up your league and go. I'm not their commander. They cast me out. Huh. You want me to believe Raish's daughter didn't inherit the job after his death? Because destroying his body isn't suspicious at all. My late father insisted Bruce would be the next head of the league, despite his refusal. Since that ill-fated duel, all the League can agree on is carrying out Raish's mission. If Bruce was Raish's heir, why did Raish kill him? That makes no sense. I agree. It was an irrational whim. I warned him the Batman would be his downfall. But repeated exposure to the Lazarus Pits breaks down the subject's mind. Eventually, their true self is erased. So, instead of giving Raish another chance at resurrection, you stabbed and burned what was left of his body. Consider it a logical choice. A painless end for him, and closure for the League. And for me. <laughs> now they want me dead. Well, we both got what we wanted. You can go now. I have other matters to attend to. The funeral. I'm sure Bruce would have appreciated it. Don't. Pull the widow and orphan act with me. You still haven't answered my question. No, but I can ask you one. Why would an apprentice to the cow break into the morgue? I know you weren't following me. It's an ongoing investigation. Ongoing? Left behind by Bruce. I wish you the best of luck. You'll be needing it soon. Because once the League regains its footing, Gotham will be in its sights. So Harley contacted Batman using, I don't know, a homing pigeon and a USB drive? And that's how we got this video? Babs, help. Do we think it's legit? Bruce never talked to me about it. When Bruce worked with criminals, he didn't exactly keep us in the loop. Yeah, it's not you, Tim. But it's also not crazy to think that Harley made this up. Just play it, and we'll know. been out of Gotham ever since, you know, her ex? Killed me? Isn't that what you meant? 
Rumor has it she did some government thing. Went straight. Ish. She's got something. Then we go find Harley. Now. Do you think this Harley thing is really worth following up on? Harley may be out of her mind. <laughs> what? I was just thinking of that time we all made dinner together, and Tim got tomato sauce over bruised bats. <laughs> I don't remember that. What? No, you have to. It was the same year. You know what? Never mind. Dumb story anyway. Well, I could tell you a story. It's about being dead. Then brought back to life by a pit of mind-altering goo. Hey, I, I didn't mean that. I don't know what's worse. Having a chunk of my life taken away from me, or coming back to everyone thinking I'm gonna snap. I'm sorry, Jason. We shouldn't have... I shouldn't have treated you like an outsider. My god, you're such a boy scout. No wonder you were the first. Fort dating back to colonial times. And you're giving me a history lesson. Why? I studied the architectural plans and found some oddities. There may be an entrance to the west. Thanks, Belfry. I'll go check that out. I bet Batman never had to take.
Belfry, I got in. Next up, Harley's cell. The X on her map corresponds to cell block 3, past Nexus processing. But guards have withdrawn their patrols from that block. So there's no telling how bad things have gotten in there. Great. What happened this time? Spotted another runner. He tripped. Sure. We're getting more rabbits every day. I'm not paid enough for this shit. Ooh, that shit! shit. Over there. Yeah. Damn that guy. Yeah. Deadhood. Looks like you've been eating well. Still big as an ox and twice as mean. <laughs> <laughs> been a while, Harley. You good? Hmm. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? You were looking into something for Batman. What was it? means the Bats is dead. For real. Well then. He asked me to profile some criminals. On account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. Guess of all the criminals he knew, you'd be the one to ask. I am not a criminal. I misunderstood. Look, you know what I'm here for. Hand it over. Everything is in this book. But I'm missing my piece de resistance. I need you to follow up on this here card. That'll make it perfect. Figures you're not making this easy for me. It should be done in records. Okay. Bye. That's 
That's not good. That's shit. Oh, nice. Oh, so you're ready. Hey, hold it right there. There was an elevator in the Nexus. Maybe that goes down in the basement. Deadhood. Looks like you've been eating well. Still big as an ox and twice as mean. <laughs> <laughs> been a while, Harley. You good? Hmm. Was it too much to ask you to visit earlier? You were looking into something for Batman. What was it? to profile some criminals. On account of my being a brilliant psychiatrist. Guess of all the criminals he knew, you'd be the one to ask. Hey! I am not a criminal! I misunderstood. Look, you know what I'm here for. Hand it over. Everything is in this book. But I'm missing my piece de resistance. I need you to follow up on this here card. That'll make it perfect. Figures you're not making this easy for me. It should be down in records. Okay. Bye. Hey. Ah. Uh, you're back. And I got you what you wanted. Ta-da! 
Seriously? Do I look like I'm 12 to you? What the hell am I supposed to do with this, Harley? Hmm. Wow. Harley's profiled some seriously antisocial prisoners here. Look, something's going on at Blackgate. We lean on that warden. We're set. Oh, these records go back centuries, man. The warden's new. Now she's involved. How did I miss this? Oh, right. Harley's stupid system makes no sense. Babs. Hey, Babs, what did you figure out? They all got out on appeal. That's what Harley was tracking. In every case, key witnesses were murdered. Look, they were all pinned up with knives, just like Langstrom. Bruce is on to something. Oh? I think I've got something. Oswald Cobblepot, the penguin. He's like everyone else in here. Except, he served his sentence every single time he was arrested. Someone must have hung him out to dry. Might be he's willing to talk. He runs the Iceberg Lounge now. Claims he went legit. <laughs> he definitely runs more than liquor through that bar. I wouldn't know. That man would never take me. <laughs> if you wanted a fake ID, Tim, all you had to do was ask. Oswald's dangerous. And we can't forget, Harley's still out there. We have to be careful. Relax, dick. We got this. That door sandalwood. Custom job. Fixing it's gonna be a pain in the ass. I have questions. Tell me what you know when I leave. Smile. Viral video of you assaulting a reformed citizen is the last thing you need right now. Reformed, huh? I believe that when I see it. It is weird you did your time, though. Unlike your friends. Hmm. Someone's done their homework. Who's giving out the get out of jail free cards? If you really want to go down this rabbit hole, you need to know there's no coming back from it. Just tell me what I need to know. I'm gonna spell this out for you. With the bat gone, you're not worth my time. Get lost. Penguin wouldn't talk. I don't have the same sway here I had back in Bloodhaven. You may be surprised to learn Batman struggled with similar challenges early in his career. So for a time, he focused his energies elsewhere in the city. When word of his work got out, 
people were more inclined to cooperate. The city. We've been so caught up in Batman's last case, we haven't been paying attention to the rest of Gotham. Gotham may not know Batman is gone, but it certainly feels his absence. There has been a marked increase in gang-related crime. Plus Penguin's own businesses. Maybe if we pay those a visit, take care of a few of the crimes, he'll be ready to talk. You've also received messages from Lucius Fox and Detective Montoya. They may be able to help. Thanks, Alfred. Batman's gonna be a tough act to follow. <laughs> Enjoying the view, Lucius? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Batman was always big on keeping a step ahead of everyone. Don't know how he kept up with Gotham, though. I always feel five steps behind this city. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Thanks, I guess. Don't thank me yet. Your mentor and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now, but no one's looking at Fox Tekka. As long as I got a breath between the gills, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which... You gonna introduce me? It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero, our own personal rideshare. This is great, Lucius. Now you can thank me. Thanks. So you can use a door after all. You know what I want. not to answer them. Gotham's elite keep getting a pass on Blackgate. But not you. So what? You forget the secret handshake? They were favored. I wasn't. Favored by... But no one talks about them. Not a whispered word is said. The Court of Owls is a myth. <laughs> the Powers Club? Yep. Where the super rich go for shits and giggles. Might be worth a peek. Personally, I stay far away from that raptor's nest. But you're good with sending me there. Typical. I lost years of my life to Blackgate. You go do what you do best. Just don't tell them I sent you.
Colonel Kane. Sergeant Pennyworth. I'm sorry I had to push our meeting so late. Work never seems to stop in this city. Oh, I can certainly relate. The paperwork hasn't let up since Bruce's passing. <sighs> yeah. I still can't believe it. Burying Bruce was the hardest thing I've ever done. Yeah. Do you remember what I told you after Martha and Tommy? You said, life matters when death matters. We take the living for granted until they're gone. I don't know what the Wayne Foundation will do without Bruce. I trust Master Grayson has been helpful as you adjust? Yeah, he sure has. Dick had his first investor call the other day. I'm surprised how well he did. Every day I find... You geezers escape from the old folks home. Don't you know it's dangerous out here at night? Every day I find new reasons to be proud. <laughs> empty your pockets or I empty the gun. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Quite the about face. That punk didn't know who he was messing with. Come inside. We'll have a drink. Catch up. Don't have to twist my arm. Let's not be long, though. I wouldn't want anyone to worry. Death has cleared the way for our new acquisition. Good. However, do try to be careful where you let them dig, my dear. <laughs> As for that other issue. We've already bribed the senators. I can assure your bill will pass early next month. Wonderful. <laughs> I am bored dealing with filth. I'm sorry, ma'am. We need to get you to safety. of the court comes. He will dictate the punishment. The court cannot forgive your failure. You will atone with blood. Don't do this. I won't do anything. And you, Vernon, do not belong here. <laughs> the last time an intruder set foot here was more than a century ago. The punishment for this insult remains the same.
Those are human bones. This is not good. Did you know that Bruce was looking into the court? I didn't. There were few things he kept from me, but this was unfortunately one of them. For me too. We managed to log some voice recordings of the court, but they're difficult to make out. You sure? You just forget they have playing. Tim. You know, you weren't the first Robin, kid. Or the second. A bunch of files got corrupted. I'll run some diagnostics, see what I can recover. Let's see if Master Bruce left us any more clues. Margie, the tattooed lady, would tell us stories about the court back at Haley's Circus. You used to say they were watching and they'd steal us away if we gave a bad performance. Always assumed it was just circus legend. Not at all. There are a number of references to the court in Gotham's history, but nothing concrete. I can't authenticate any of these sources. Supposedly some wingnut wrote a tell-all book about them. But it's a legend in and of itself, so... Shame, really. Such a work would have made a wonderful addition to the library. The earliest version of the court rhyme is from the 1700s. And says they're after the Fountain of Youth. <laughs> Seem pretty kill-happy for people who want eternal life. Those aren't mutually exclusive. There were a lot of bodies in that pit. And one of them was holding this. Might open something useful. Our scans revealed an isotope embedded in the metal. It definitely has a match. It's a key. So? Let's find the door. Alfred? Richard? You know more than anyone that being a leader has a cost. You needn't shoulder it all alone. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, at times, you can be much like Bruce. I'm nothing like him. <clears throat> Of course not. So unlike him, you would never push through an injury. I'm fine. <clears throat> See? Knowing when to take the help that's offered is a sign of a good leader. Belfry, I'm in. 
Looks like they hit some kind of underground tunnel. I'll probably lose comms down there. Mark my location. I'll check in as soon as I can. Understand your place. We earned our power. We shaped Gotham into the great city she is today. We are the protectors, not you. You're just bats. And I'll devour bats. of Owls is watching from inside of Gotham's walls. They lurk in every shadow. And they rule you, one and all. You used us. You knew about the court and waited for us to do the dirty work for you. When I was still part of the League, we observed the court's growth in Gotham. Now you can see the city's rotten core. They call what they're mining Dionysium. But it looks like it's from a Lazarus pit. A foul substitute for the true miracle. A contaminated extract. For centuries, the court has been looking for a fountain of youth. Instead, they found the makings of undying monsters. So those talents, that's what they're using to create them. So why not make a trade? A Lazarus pit for their science. You'd have a loyal army without ever recruiting another ninja. <laughs> Even in their current debased state, the League would never descend to such banality. And the court's greed and corruption prevent them from ever mastering the secrets of the Lazarus Pits. 
Of course. You get to use the Lazarus pits because you're so generous and kind. Oh, those are some harsh words. I gave you back your friend, Jason. I knew it. And I know you didn't do it as some kind of favor to me or Bruce. I suppose gratitude was too much to expect in exchange for another stab at life. He didn't ask for your help, Talia. None of us did. With Bruce gone, the court's operation grows. The League of Shadows will raise Gotham to the ground unless you silence the court. Just spit it out, Talia. You want the voice gone, and you want to use us to do it for you. But what do you get out of it? I'll do what I can to distract the League. And your path to the Court of Owls will be clear. Hey, Alfred, did the city records turn up anything? They didn't. According to the city permits, there's been no mining in Gotham City since the cauldron was completed. Judging from what we found last night, they've been digging down there for centuries. Give this a listen, Alfred. Babs managed to repair some of the court voice recordings. Dionysium brought the Talons back to life. Sort of. Dionysium's basically weak as hell Lazarus pit water. Brings back motor functions, but free will's as good as gone. So what is a Talon exactly? Some kind of feral zombie assassin? We've all seen weirder shit. Maybe. Feral zombie. Sounds like Jason, all right. <laughs> I recognize a voice. The older woman is Constance Cobblepot, I'm fairly certain. And the others? More difficult to say. Maybe if I heard them in person. In person? Tim, put the waveforms on the screen. It's hard to find a match with all the damage and voice modulation. Maybe the matching system would have better luck if- We match what we have against the live voices. Fun, but how do we find these jackasses? Two words, Orchard Hotel. The Masquerade, the event of the season. This year's dedicated to Master Bruce. Gotham's rich, dress up and pretend they're humanitarians. I've been a few times. So it's Dirtbag Central. With so many of Gotham's elite together, security at the Masquerade will be tight. Finding out their plans first would give you an important advantage. I'll tweak our masks to record telescopic audio. If we can get a good vantage point, we may be able to put some faces to these mystery voices. Sounds like our kind of party. I've uploaded the data we got from Hendrix. It should be ready soon. I've seen Bruce make that same face when he got stuck on a case. What's on your mind? Everything starts with Ra's al Ghul attacking Batman, but I, I can't figure out how it connects. You've never had to fight the League, have you? Raish is, was, a fanatic. He formed the League of Shadows centuries ago to root out corruption all over the world. His philosophy, if you want to call it that, is that he should destroy things to build them back up. He's wiped out multiple cities over the centuries. He set his sights on Gotham. Batman stopped him. He was impressed. So he named Bruce his heir. That suddenly, even though Bruce said no thanks. But it meant Raish left Gotham alone. That is until he showed up and... Bruce.
Natalia says Raish was behaving erratically when he died. Yeah. I put money on that not being the whole story. Hang on. What if our starting point is earlier? Batman died while he was investigating the Court of Owls. You think Raish found out about it? But why come after his heir? Raish cares about two things. Rooting out corruption and protecting the Lazarus Pits. So if the Court was using an extract from the pits to create talents... Raish blows a gasket, steps in himself. Things escalate, both he and Bruce end up dead. And without Batman keeping a lid on Gotham's corruption, the Court starts to stretch its wings. The League follows Raish to Gotham, and there's nobody to stop them from attacking the Court. Gotham City becomes ground zero for a goddamn war. And no Batman to save it. I guess that's our job now. Yeah. It is. And we know what we need to do. We root out the court. And we keep the League away from Gotham. I really miss it. says that's the voice of the court. Thank you all for the warm welcome. But tonight is not about me. We are here to remember one of Gotham's greatest sons, Bruce Wayne. Now, you all knew the Playboy. I knew his charity. A brash defender of Gotham's best. Though he's gone now, Bruce's contributions to this city will be felt for decades to come. This is for you, Bruce. The last of our precious Wayne family. You've helped us in ways you never realized. And may we, the surviving families of Gotham, strive to live up to your inimitable legacy. Destroy Gotham? No, we're trying to save her. Preserve her glory. I understand now the potential you could have to do the same. You talk like you weren't just another villain, hiding behind a mask. The only one hiding behind a mask is you. Tim. Jacob Kane? How, how? How do you know? I know. Just like I knew my nephew Bruce was out there, keeping the peace in his armored pajamas. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't tell anyone. Call it loyalty to Martha. We all live double lives, trying to shelter the city from chaos. It's just, our court is quieter about it. The people of Gotham aren't puppets. When they find out you're pulling their strings, they're not gonna like it. 
Yeah, Batman would probably say the same thing in your position. That's why I never told Bruce about the court. We have the same ends, the same enemies. It's madness. You're not serving us. Except Robin doesn't kill people. <laughs> A difference in tactics, I'll admit. For protectors of Gotham, you sure murder a lot of your friends. Kurt Langstrom, his assistant? Those who betray us will suffer for it. Langstrom betrayed the court. Bruce used his fortune to fight for this city. You fight for yourself. He never would have stood for this. Do not use my nephew against me. I mourn Bruce. I want answers for his death, just like you. I'm nothing like you, Jacob. Understood. I protected Bruce, but I won't protect you. If you won't join us, I'm afraid you'll have to join Langston. bigger problems right now. Just stay out of my way. You won't like what happens next. at the Orchard Hotel is a new low for the city of Gotham. It is time for the real heroes, the GCPD, to step up and restore order in our city. To take it back. Yeesh. Surprisingly, Commissioner Kane isn't a match for any of the voices we collected. Hey! She may not be a court member, but the Commissioner could still be helping them. She didn't marry Jacob. Catherine is probably not aware of her husband's secret. I know Jacob well, and have never had even the slightest suspicion. Colonel Asshole fooled everyone. Even Bruce. The other people we matched at the ball. John Wycliffe? Isabella Haas? Maria Powers. All killed at the hotel by the League. Colonel Kane's the only member we know survived for sure. And probably old Lady Cobblepot. She's unaccounted for. And the court is clearly much bigger than Jacob Kane and Constance Cobblepot. The almighty voice was right, you know. <laughs> no one will believe a nursery rhyme's been pulling Gotham's strings for so long. But people will believe that Jacob Kane conspired to murder Langstrom. We have the evidence to prove it. Let's get this to Detective Montoya. See if it's enough for her to build her case. I'll be sure to include our list of known members, dead or otherwise. We need to be careful about this. Jacob will be waiting for us to try something. Someone should talk to Talia. The court and the League are clearly out to kill each other. And let's be ready when we're caught in between them. Could have told us your league was planning a murder spree at the charity ball. Does this look like my league? Did they decapitate the court? Did you? No. Despite all the killings, the voice is still alive. 
then the League will keep attacking, regardless of collateral damage. And the Court will send their talons to retaliate. How many of Gotham's citizens will die in the crossfire, Talia? Countless. The League will decimate the city. And the Court is preparing something even more impressive. And that is? Langstrom wrote that living subjects could create more powerful talents. I don't want to be around when they get out. What else do you know about what Langstrom was doing? As much as I've liked our chats, Gotham is getting decidedly unfriendly. Don't come looking for me. it out. The Talons, the Labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. Hmm. To think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The Labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? 
Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, near death, I patched him up. Just as I now do for you. He was often angry, but he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related, but they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war, it's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. I've got enough evidence to lock Kane up for years. It's the warrant that's the problem. Is the judge giving you a hard time? I've been to see every judge I know and no one will sign it. They're scared. Even if they don't know about the court, they know not to mess with Kane. What about Judge Moreno? She's put away some interesting people. Gotham's old money types. Elena was one of the first names on my list. But I guess things got bad over that whole Chelsea Tunnel case. She's gone into hiding. <laughs> Did you forget what I do for a living? I'll ask around. Find some upstanding citizens to point me in the right direction. Get that warrant signed. And you know I'll serve it. Are you okay? They were gonna kill me. Just like they killed my brother, poor Alex. All this because I wouldn't close construction on the Chelsea Tunnel? The court doesn't like it when people say no to them. Damn it. They are real. You can help take them down. I've got a warrant for the arrest of their leader. I'll sign it. People like that can't be allowed to terrorize this city. Glad we're on the same page then. Want me to call someone to pick you up? Someone's already on their way. I knew the freaks couldn't keep this up, so I called a friend. Thank you. And good luck, Red Hood. Is the blindfold really necessary? Not anymore. Glad you could make it. Welcome to the Belfry. You're back, girl. <laughs> did your father know? If he did, he never said. But now you know. If you're gonna help us take down Jacob Kane, we need to trust each other. Dick Grayson. Well, I guess you're Nightwing then. Is it that obvious? It's pretty obvious. You don't even, like, do a voice or anything. Robin. I don't think we've met out of costume. Actually, we've met. Like, five times. Oh, yeah. 
Tim Drake, right? We done laying our cards on the table? We got a plan to go over. Jason Todd. The dead walk among us. I get that a lot. You get what we needed? The judge actually signed off on the Jacob Kane charge. Conspiracy to murder Langstrom. Some solid detective work. If you could get Kane out of that hidey hole, I can make sure every honest cop in Gotham is waiting out front. Huh. But that won't be easy. This building is basically a tank. Oh, we know. Armored facade, anti-aircraft guns on the roof. That's why we have drones. I assume you don't have a permit for that. We absolutely do not. Gotta admit, Pennyworth, I was kinda hoping you were Batman and just retired or something. Hmm. While I'm flattered, the truth is unfortunately more grim. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. So, about that plan. The plan? Yes. You're gonna love it. To start, you'll rendezvous at the rally point in sight of the target, Kane Industries. It's go time. Everyone ready? Drones on standby. building a goddamn army to fight the League? To save Gotham from itself. Gotham needs hunters, our new knights. They thrive in the shadows like Bruce did, like you did. But unlike you, they know their place. Gotham won't accept the court is real, let alone believe I'm the voice. So what? They just have to believe you killed Langstrom. Uh, and what if I did? Huh? Where's the reporter who'll cover it? Or the cop who'll arrest me? Much less the judge who'll convict me. It's the judge's day off, but the rest are waiting outside for you. My wife is still a commissioner. I'll be free before sunup.
Here you go, Montoya. Jacob Kane. Barely a scratch on him. <laughs> <laughs> Working with vigilantes, detective? Catherine will have your badge for this. Hell of a trade if it puts you away. <laughs> Conspiring with vigilantes to put me away. <laughs> now you're in trouble. Tell them I'm innocent. Don't give me that shit, Jacob. Don't you say another word. I can... Jacob! People out of here. Find who did this. Search everywhere. Search the rooftops. Go! just shot Jacob. He's dead. She took off, but I'm on her tail. Get after her. What the hell, Talia? Jacob Kane was coming along peacefully, and you murdered him. No. We murdered him. The League of Shadows thanks you for your collaboration. Bruce was never this helpful. <laughs> you lied to my face about not being in charge. How long have you been planning your takeover? Years? Decades. I have a clarity of vision that my father lacked. Without him, the League can reach its full potential. I'm surprised you didn't kill the old man yourself. I didn't need to. So now what? Hmm? I don't suppose you and your League will leave quietly. The Orchard Hotel was just the beginning. Our work in Gotham will serve as a beacon, a warning of what is to come. In a torrent of blood, we will purge corruption from this city, then the world. Your father used to make speeches like that. They didn't impress me either. Then I won't waste your time. I've only let you live this long because you were useful. I did remake you. After all, I remain myself. And I'm gonna take you down. For Bruce, and for me. Even Bruce would tell you. Nothing can stop the reckoning that's in motion. Farewell. Damn it. Jacob in custody. We were finally gonna bring him in. And now, she's got everything she needs to start the next phase of her plan. 
She'll go after our allies first, to keep us out of the way. Exactly. That's why I already sent them a warning. Lucius is holing up in a secure location with a small security team. And Montoya is scrambling people she trusts. It won't be enough. They'll die without our help. League attacks. All over the city. It's already started. would come eventually. Bad news, Freeze. Your goons won't be getting that Star Labs data they were after. Whatever my associates are after is their business. I have what I came for. What is this about, then? What could be worth killing all these people for? My time is valuable. I will not waste any more of it talking to you! Payline system compromised. Please vacate the area. We're running out of air! Help us! Use the rail gun! <coughs> Warning. Safety parameters compromised. That's the idea. spoke earlier. Thank God you came when you did. We got your call. He took all of our cryo gel. It's enough to drain the thermal energy from Gotham three times over. And freeze the whole city. Let us worry about freeze. Just stay here until the GCPD arrives and tell them what happened. I will. Again, thank you. He also downloaded local weather balloon data for the past 10 years. Let's go back out there and stop Breeze before he kills anyone else. Yes! Easy, Tiger. We'll get him. Maybe that's enough practice for today. I've set the back computer to monitor the city for high concentrations of cryogel. Meanwhile, we should keep tabs on anyone working for Freeze, which should be easy since he decks out all of his lackeys with cryo guns. Hidden floor compartment? Belfry. Looks like the scientist who built Freeze's machine also built a disruptor. I think this might be what we need to take him down. I'm bringing it in. Good work. We'll wait for you back at the Belfry. Got about a dozen people frozen here. Need paramedics ASAP. All units, shootout in progress mm -hmm. at Elliott Center. Multiple accidents. Too many. We can't respond to them all. 
Is this something in the weather report about an ice age? Be advised, extreme weather event in progress. Temperatures have fallen 60 degrees in just minutes. An extreme cold front? Weather doesn't do that. Not without some help. Freeze. Freeze can make weather now? Freeze can make weather now. The storm is localized around Elliot Center. We need to get there now. Field disruptors in place. It's charging. Get away from my storm engine! Is that what you're calling it? You don't want to be on this roof when the disruptor goes off, trust me. Irrelevant! I already have what I need! A storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it! We'll see about that. I will enjoy watching you. Why didn't you listen? Overload. Cryogel cycling offline. Hard reset required. You're lucky this thing was built with a failsafe. Brace yourself. System reset successful. Cryogel cycling online. Freeze. Can you hear me? You should have let me die. It would have been so much easier for you. <laughs> the weather machine is offline and the storm is clearing. He said I should have let him die. But it sounded like a threat. Victor always had the potential to bring disaster to Gotham. Until tonight, a kernel of humanity stopped him. And now, we are that humanity. I've scoured all of my networks. No sign of Talia anywhere. The League is still in Gotham. She's here. Just have to find her. Goddamn ninjas. So... This is weird. Weird like undead talons coming back to life, or weird like... Uh, how do I keep losing this freaking game? Weird like there was this reroute situation that I was tracking. But then there were fluctuations, and now... I think I found Talia. What were you tracking? At first it looked like nothing, but now... Whoa. That's a lot of power that's been siphoned. Not necessarily definitive, except... Except? The power was diverted... here. Is an Arkham empty? Like, you know... <laughs> collapsed? It has been for a couple of years. And with our missing ninja friend... Here. She's only been there for a few weeks. Maybe it won't be too bad. Or, this is a trap. She's too good to just let us find her. But we have a lead. We do have a lead. Yeah. Talia wasn't here just to mess with us. She's got something else up her sleeve. Well, guess it's time to go back to that asbestos-encrusted shithole. Belfry, approaching Arkham now. 
Talia messed with Langstrom's method using League volunteers. Super strength, huh? I wonder how strong Super is. Weird. They were doing some kind of sonic tests in Arkham's tower. Grabbing the data now. Damn it. Blew the breaker. Stay here. I, uh... You know, you really should not be fighting with those injuries. <sighs> Chaos in Gotham City tonight uh... after another vicious attack in Robinson Park. There are reports across the city of flying creatures wreaking havoc. Police are urging citizens to stay calm and remain indoors. Uh, Alfred. I need my gear. The others are already on patrol. Once you are ready... I'm ready. Look. When I was a kid, I could hear gunfire almost every night outside our apartment. This is what I train for. To be strong enough to help people like the scared little boy I used to be. Besides, Alfred, you know I'm never gonna play it safe. I'm certain you already know what must be done. I'm going after Talia. She found a Lazarus pin in Gotham and I can't let her keep it. I'm bringing the fight to her.
Narta. I've seen better work. Did you know, child? A Lazarus pit can be used for more than just saving people from the brink of death. It has many purposes. In fact, a Lazarus pit can make a mind more malleable. More pliable to suggestion. Your army's pretty loyal. Why would you need to brainwash them? Sometimes it's about more than your army. Sometimes it's about having the right general leading it. <laughs> Is that an offer? No thanks. <laughs> you, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I've finally solved that problem. repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory, remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. You're supposed to call me back, girl, remember? She said you were... we're all dead. You think we'd make it that easy? <clears throat> so stubborn. Jim was the same. I learned half of it from you. <laughs> You were dead. Now you're suffering the after effects of a Lazarus pit. Talia dropped you in multiple times. She's trying to mess with your mind. Dead. How long? Long enough for us to follow your last case. We found the Court of Owls. They do exist. Yeah. And your uncle Jacob was the leader. Jacob? Wise. You know what? We can finish this conversation later. 
By all means, let's finish it now. <laughs> I told you, and your father, to stay away from my family! Family? Is that what you call this? No thought for what we are to one another. Beloved, stay here. I've got this. I can... You want to find out how stubborn I am? Stay down. <laughs> Funny, Talia? You, Barbara Gordon. Your father would be so disappointed to see you miss such an obvious taste. Oh no. The fault is with you, Talia Al Ghul. Your abomination led us here. And now you and it will die. <laughs> you will never bring death to an Al Ghul. Another voice? You guys just don't give up. Take heart! Your death has purpose. You die, so the court lives forever! I will never let the court get a Lazarus pit! Go! Deal with the phone! Without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> to 
together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. Lazarus pit was completely destroyed in the explosion. And with the pit gone, the Court of Owls has mostly disappeared. Without the promise of eternal life, they need to regroup. As for Talia, she's left Gotham entirely. I assume she's planning her next move. She left behind a token force of League assassins. I can't tell whether she's keeping an eye on us or keeping us busy. Probably both. We found what was left of the Batwing. He's really gone. Gotham City needs me. The court will try to pretend this never happened. They need to know that I'm still watching. Exposing Jacob Kane was only the beginning. is leading a war against the citizens of Gotham City, and it hasn't ended. But their days of lurking in every shadow are over. Because I will find them. And I will drag them into the light. People of Gotham, you deserve to live your lives free of fear. And I promise you, I will fight to make that happen.
Really, Dick? <laughs> Alfred had dinner ready an hour ago. How many versions of this are you gonna make? Let me check. In the event of my death at the hands of Crazy Quilt? Seriously? What about the event of my death? Of starvation? Hear that? You're neglecting this poor kid. You promised we'd have dinner together as a family. You guys start, I'll be right up. Oops. My hand slipped. But now you're up, so let's go. This is important. Would you just go? Or is I forgot to eat and starve to death on your list of videos? I mean, if you want some advice on being dead, I got you covered. Oh, this is gonna be good. You're gonna need my password. Am not. Looking out for me. <laughs>